I'm so excited to be here for the second annual Healthy Lunchtime Recipe Challenge and Kids Safe Dinner. We're here at the finalist judging. It's taken weeks and weeks to go through all of the recipes that we got. We got actually almost 1,300 recipes, but we narrowed it down to these two from each state and the, and the territories, and that's what we're doing. We're actually tasting 108 dishes today. It's enjoyable to be both a judge and not a judge. I think we're, we're only into the D's now in terms of the states, and so I'm holding my own, but we're seeing a lot of fresh stuff, a lot of fish, and again, this is something that you don't think that, that nine, 10 year olds are gonna come up with as an option for school food, but it's gratifying to see. You can eat a lot of foods from different places, but the most important thing is you take, take a little bite so you don't, so you don't get full very quickly. There's been some dynamite dishes. I mean, really, there's a couple things that I would cook for the first family out there. And uh, let me tell you, fierce competition. We got a little orange, cilantro, some scallions and quinoa and shrimp. Killer. Our judges have a very rigorous set of standards. The most important thing is based on the healthiness of the dish. And we're using the My Plate as a guide for that analysis. So given that my plate has become very iconic graphic that people are learning and that it's very simple to understand what it is. So that's what we did for this contest. We said make all of the elements that you would need for a my plate uh, within the recipe itself. And so that's what we're judging today. We're also judging taste. It's got to be delicious or we know kids won't eat it. Is it creative? Is it affordable? And then what was the story behind the dish? One of the, the fascinating pieces actually is reading the stories behind the recipes and understanding where these kids are coming from, whether it's using local ingredients from their community or, or talking about events and times that have been important to them and their families and how they've incorporated that into what they want to eat and then sharing that with the rest of us. When Mrs. Obama came into office and started this initiative with Let's Move, I thought, oh my God, what amazing synergy. She as a mom understands, like I do, how important it is to get kids in the kitchen and to understand what healthy eating is and how important it really is. So I thought of this concept for the contest and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing to get kids really excited if they knew that they could go and meet Mrs. Obama and go to the White House. Last year's Kids Day Dinner was an amazing event. To see kids from around the country come into our country's house, our country's home, uh, the White House. And then you see the care and time that not only the First Lady took with, with each and every person who, who attended that event, uh, but then the President coming by and making sure he went around to every single table and talked to the kids and to hear their story. It was just wild, wildly impressive. And I know it'll be something that those kids will not only never forget, but they'll talk about for the rest of their lives. Congratulations to all the winners. We will see you at the White House on July 9th. It just burps.